So the new Crow trailer dropped uh, about a week ago or so, and I wanted to do a deep dive on looking at the things that I think so far, what we've seen of the new movie, that I think maybe they're heading in the right direction as far as this new look, uh, as far as what we're getting on the the big picture of a new Crow. This movie's been in the works for quite some time now. We're looking at since 2008 when they started this remake and we've had several Eric Dravens uh, early concept artists show Bradley Cooper uh, and then at one point Jason Momoa was attached to the script and we got some pretty cool behind scenes with him in the makeup which looked pretty cool I will I will have to admit unfortunately I don't really know what happened between Jason Momoa, and by the time we got Bill Skarsgård, but we're looking at, you know, well over 10 years of production for this remake to come out. And with me being a massive Crow fan, um, I really do like the original film. I've seen all the films. Uh, Two is not as bad as people think it is, to be honest. If you look at it as far as a new telling of the Crow story, Three, surprisingly, is actually pretty good as far as like a straight-to-video Crow movie. Uh, we won't talk about the fourth one, uh, but I, I've i liked The Crow ever since I was 13 going to Hot Topic. You know, I, I've been a big fan of this franchise for many years. And was this remake something that I wanted? I'm gonna not going to lie to you. No, it wasn't. I didn't really care to see it. Um to be honest, when I was announced back in 2008, I just didn't have any desire to get invested in something like a Crow remake when we got the original with Brandon Lee, which is so great. But now that time has passed, um, I'm not going to lie. I am intrigued on what we are going to get. Uh, the director of this film brought us Snow White and the Huntsman and Ghost in the Shell. Uh, which I really like Ghost in the Shell. I know that there's some controversy behind that, but to be honest for what it is, I think it's actually a terrific action flick. Um, I do think it really did grasp the concept of the anime while also turning and changing the storyline for a fresh take. Um, what they took over from the anime was really well done and executed. Um, I don't know. I really feel like a lot of people harped on that more than they should have. And I think if you go back and rewatch it, I think you'll be shocked to find that this is a very, very well-made action flick, which some, with some really, really cool sci-fi features. But yes, we've got Rupert Sanders directing the film. Um, and also we want to talk about Snow White and the Huntsman real quick. I actually like Snow White and the Huntsman. I don't think it's a bad film. Was... I interested in seeing it? Not really. Did I watch it? Yeah. Did I like the style? Yeah. I actually really did like the style. I like the way they took this, you know, this fairy tale story like. Um, I don't know. I think everything, I think it was executed well. Uh, is it a movie that I'm just going to throw on and play? No. Do I own a hard copy of it? No. Well, I probably not. But if it's on TV, I will watch it. I don't think it's a bad film at all. Um, is it fantastic and will I rave about it? Not really, but I'm not going to say it's a bad film by any means than necessary. Now, back to The Crow. Uh, things that we got in the trailer, I'm I'm pretty excited to see. Like I said, I wasn't really planning on being invested in seeing something like this, but after watching the trailer, and to be honest, I don't mind the concept art that we got the week before the trailer. Um, I definitely think I this is something that I kind of wanted that I didn't know I wanted. With that being said, let's get into the trailer. Uh, the trailer opens up with a cityscape. Uh, we get to kind of get a vibe of what the city looks like in this film. It's definitely different than the first film, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, in the comics and in the first film, and even in the second film, the city is a big part of the film itself, almost its own character. So this is definitely different, which I'm okay with. It, you know, It doesn't need to be a carbon copy of the original. But what we do get, it looks like we're going to get a lot of Shelly. In the first film, we did not get a lot of Shelly. Shelly was a big part of the comic. Um, but it looks like with this one, uh, we are going to be lucky to get that. 
if I don't know if a lot of people know this, but if, if in the first film, the reason why we didn't get a lot of Shelly was all the Shelly scenes were going to be shot at the end of the film. And unfortunately, I believe there was five to four days of rap shooting is when the accident happened on set, which led to Brandon Lee's death. So that is kind of the reason why we didn't get a lot of Shelly. Um, there was some scenes that were filmed to add into the film with, you know, if you can remember the the scene where Brandon Lee's holding the mask over his face and stuff like that. There's little things like that that were added later. Um, but this film, I'm, re I'm really excited to see their uh, love grow. Um, I really hope we get a lot of that because um, that would be a nice, fresh take. Looks like Danny Houston is going to be the main villain in this one. Um, he plays a really good villain, so I think that's going to be a, a good part of the film. Uh, and I think they did a really good job at casting him. Not sure if he's going to be our top dollar character or if he's going to be a different character all you know altogether, which is fine because... Top Dollar wasn't even the main villain in the comic. It was actually T-Bird. So I'm cool with whatever they choose to do here. One part I really do like of the trailer is I really do like the drowning scene where someone's underwater and someone is trying to grasp somebody and yet they get so close but get pulled away. I really like that. Um, you know, if you can call it a trope or it's been done before, I don't care. I really like it. And whenever I see it on film, I really enjoy it. It's like Deadpool 2 is a good example of someone wanting to get to somebody being pulled away. Guardians 3, they did it, uh, which I'm completely okay with. Um, doesn't bother me one bit that it's been done before. Just depends on the context and the character. If it really, if we really enjoy the storyline that much, we're not even going to care about all those uh, times it's been done in the past. In this one, it does look like we're going to be getting a spirit guide. I don't know how long the spirit guide is actually going to be in the film, but we do get a character, it looks like, that is going to explain the uh, rules and limitations of uh, Eric's powers, kind of like what we got in the comic. Um, that I like that. You know, we did in the first film, we're supposed to get the Skull Cowboy played by Michael Berryman. Unfortunately, it never... Uh, fleshed out. They just felt it was a little too hokey and they didn't end up adding it to the film. Um, wasn't necessary for the first one. That's completely fine. The fact that we get this in this in this one, I don't mind that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, in the comics also, Eric would also have conversations with the crow itself um, when he would go through his flashbacks. Obviously, they're not going to have him talking to a bird, which is fine. I mean, that's just silly. Uh, it works well in a comic, not really in a mainstream media, so... Um, I'm okay with them probably not doing that. But so far to this point in the trailer, uh, we really don't know where how this movie is going to be as far as action wise. And this is right when we get hit in the face with, oh, this movie is going to be violent. Um, going back to the first comic, which is extremely violent, even though it's in black and white, I think that even makes it even more gritty and dirty and violent. Um, I do like this. I do like this hyper violence. Uh, I think it is definitely different from a, a, a crow film that we've gotten. So I'm I'm all here for it. Um, it this really gives me Punisher Warzone vibes, to be honest. And I, I I I like I said I am here for it. I want it. Didn't know I wanted it, but now I, I gotta have it. Now that I've seen it. There are some parts, lines, and dialogue that Eric says um, that kind of bothers me a little bit. I don't really know what accent they're going with. Um, so I, I don't really know. I'll probably know more once we actually start the film. Um, I mean, I didn't start the film, but like actually get into seeing the movie when it when it, when it comes out in June. So, um, you know, that's to be determined. But so far, I don't really care the way he is talking um, and the scenes that we've gotten. So, you know, that's definitely something, you know, I'm a little on the fence on so far. But with that being said, I do like the scene where he walks up to the guy in the car where he says, I killed you. And he goes, yeah, you did. Um, I do like that because so far what I'm seeing is we've got a man who was not previously a badass, who's now came back from the dead and is said badass. So like, I like how when someone gets powers, it doesn't change the person that they are. Um, with the first film, it is awesome. It is an action film. I, I love it to death. But with that being said... We didn't really see the the character of Eric before um, he had his powers. So I don't like in films where all of a sudden someone has powers and they're a badass. You know, I like the fact that this might be, he might be the same person and you see a gradual change throughout the film. Um, I do like that, you know. Um, so this scene, 
I get that more of a uh, uh, of a natural um, response to having powers, knowing what you can do, and now you're going to confront the person who did something completely awful, and you're not going to have witty one liners to come back with them and stuff like that. And the, almost even he has got a sense of nervousness in his voice. Um, I really do like that. Uh, so I mean, so far, even with the, with the accent, I like where this is going. Now we get our first glimpse of what Eric looks like uh, as the crow. Um, I really like this look. I think it looks cool. Um, I am a little worried the fact that it does look like he doesn't put the face paint on until the end of the film. So I'm a little worried there, to be honest. Um, but we'll see what happens when we actually get the movie. Um, but I like his look. I like the fact that he's just wearing a leather ja uh, leather jacket and he ha you know he has no shirt on, which Eric did. For certain several scenes in the comic. So that is very comic accurate. I like the fact that he's got a katana sword. That's very comic accurate because Eric wielded a katana sword in the comic for a couple of pages. Very cool. I do think we're getting more golden nuggets from the comic series uh, than we got in other films. And I do really think that uh, the director is really working on showing homage to the original comic. So I'm here for it. And a lot of people were complaining that, you know, he looks like Jared Leto's Joker. Okay. That's okay for this universe. It didn't make sense for Joker to look like that when Jared Leto was the Joker. That didn't make sense. Based in this universe, it makes sense. It's a modern take on the character. And also, it's that's normal for something of this, you know, nature, this uh, volume. So, to be honest... I have no complaints there. And back to Eric's body style. He looks like Eric. Bill Skarsgård did a great job of getting in shape. and He looks like Eric. If we go back to the original comic, Eric was a thin, had a thin muscular built, which obviously is what we're getting on screen right now, which will be got with Brandon Lee. Yes, there are things that have been changed and different. Brandon Lee has long hair in the first film and Bill Skarsgård is rocking a more modern day mullet, which is completely fine. I don't mind that whatsoever. The original body style of Eric for the comic was made after Iggy Pop from the Stooges and Peter Murphy from Mauhaus. So James O'Barr put Peter Murphy's head on Iggy Pop's body, and that's how they got the Eric that we got in the first comic series. And to be honest, I think Bill Skarsgård fits that fits that body type, and I, I like it. Some people we're talking about maybe getting someone who is a little bit more diesel, a little bit more bigger, but that's that's not the crow. Yes, you can do a storyline like that, but that's not Eric. So if we're going to do something of that nature, have it be a fresh new character, not a retelling of someone we already know. One thing I do like that we got is I do like the line that the la uh, the lady says where he's not doing this out of anger. It's out of love. And to be honest, I love a good revenge story. I am all about revenge stories. Love them, love, love them. Especially when they're encased in, in an action-packed film. I am here for it 100%. And I believe that's really what we're going to get because that is the true Crow story of, in its nature. Um, and I like the fact that that is being implied out loud and it just makes cool little one-liners. And I mean, what's action film without having cool one-liners, to be honest? I, I like it. I have no complaints here. And now towards the end of the trailer, it looks like we are going to get like, it looks like maybe the end fight scene. Um, and it is hyper violent. I am, I, it is just full of blood, almost and gore. And I really like almost, it seems like we get a little bit of a John wickiness into it, which I think is super badass and super cool. Um, and I do think when people watch this film, uh, I really think people might be blown away a little bit of how much they enjoyed it and then they thought they were going to enjoy it. Maybe people that are diehard Crow fans are going to be a little bit, you know, standoffish. And to be honest, they might hate it because they love the original one so much. I'm not in that boat here. Uh, I'm going to take it as it is and I'm not going to hold it up to the original. I'm holding it up to it. It's the fact that it's a whole fresh new film. And I will basically judge it based on that. But yeah, that's the trailer. That's the breakdown that I came up with, things that I like about it. I, you know, I didn't really pull out a bunch of negatives, but there are a couple of things I'm a little worried about. Um, but we'll see how the movie comes. Um, it does suck as the trailer does look like it's one of those trailers that shows you everything in the film. 
that does suck a little bit. You know, um, I remember when Jim Carrey's The Mask came out and most of the really funny things were in the trailer and it did suck when you saw the film. Yes, I was a little, I didn't care really much. I still thought it was funny, but I do think we might have gotten a scenario like this because it is pretty readily long trailer, three minutes. So I'm not too sure uh, what's going to happen there, uh, but I'm still excited to see it. It's like I said, it's the, it's a movie that I didn't know I wanted. And then I saw it and I'm like, all right, I'm ready for it. You got my ticket. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to be upset that, you know, it's a retelling of Eric's story. And a lot of people do think that, like, hey, this is overdone. We don't need a new Crow movie. I understand what you're saying. Did we need an Eric a retelling of Eric's story? No. But what we, I think we could have gotten, which I'm just still waiting for them to do, I'm waiting for them to do the Prey treatment. If you don't know what I mean, is how Prey took the Predator franchise and flipped it on its head and completely changed it, you know, and put it in a completely time error. I would love to see that with the crow. I mean, I would love to see a Native American crow to come back to death, come back from death to, you know, seek vengeance on the white man of destroying his tribe or something like that. I would, that would be so fucking cool. Um, I really think the sky's the limit with this crow mythology and storyline and I do think if this film goes well, does well, we can get stuff like that. Um, I I would think that would be super cool. Or or throw it in, you know, in Japan and with samurais and stuff like that. That would be fucking awesome. I mean, 100% awesome. You know, we could even do it. In, you could make a Western Crow movie if you wanted to. And if it's done right, it will be super fucking badass. So I, I do feel like we could have... Maybe if that a movie like that would have been made, maybe we wouldn't have gotten so much negativity backlash from what we've gotten so far because a lot of people are not really liking this and they think it's going to be trash. But to be honest, if you are like that, I understand. Yes, I get where you're coming at. I would say just give it a chance and try to separate yourself from the first film and just look at it as far as this is a new fresh take on the storyline. Do we need it? Yeah, I'm not going to say, yeah, we probably really don't need it. Uh, but am I going to watch it? Because it does look entertainment. Yes. So that's it. That's my breakdown. If you're interested in seeing other videos from us, uh, please follow uh, and subscribe. Um, this is something a little bit different than we normally do. Usually it's me and my wife, Becca. We do movie reviews and uh, we have a podcast here on our channel. Um, but with me being such a big Crow fan, I wanted to break down the trailer and kind of talk about some good things about it. Because... I noticed a lot, there wasn't a huge amount of like so far, and there's a lot of negative impact. So I kind of want to say my two cents as far as being a Crow fan. And, um, you know, I, I feel like other people aren't there, you know, or think just like me. And I think some other people out there are excited to see this. So, you know, let me know in the comments, do you want to see this? Did you want this film? Um, are you excited? Let me know. Um, but yeah, if you uh, come back, we put out new episodes every other week where we pick out a favorite movie of ours to uh, review. And, um, you know, if you like this content, we'll enjoy it. We definitely enjoy to have you guys. And until the next time, have a good one.